Aliens introduced the concept of pitting space marines with superior firepower to stand up against the aliens, and although the team of marines landing on the LV-426 colony were equipped with advanced weaponry and a squad of ultimate badasses, it bared little resistance against the horde of xenomorphs threatening the doomed humans rivaling a mysterious and dangerous alien species. Perhaps one of the most iconic and recognizable of firearms introduced by the film would be the Pulse Rifle, which became a staple of the Colonial Marines' involvement in the Alien universe. From the comics to countless video games and even a brief appearance in Alien 3, the Pulse Rifle arguably became the signature weapon of the franchise. With unique aesthetic to its design and sound to its firepower, the Pulse Rifle could be seen as simply a cool weapon used to blast through xenomorph bugs, and while it is, its purpose and use within the Colonial Marines is well established and firmly conceived. As the Colonial Marines technical manual documents, the Armat M41A is a 10mm pulse action air cooled automatic assault rifle, which has become the basic rifle of the US Colonial Marine Corp. The standard service variant has an over and under configuration incorporating a 30mm pump action grenade launcher. The basic design is similar in concept to the Harrington automatic rifle from the early 60s, though incorporating many improvements due to the advances in materials technology. Lightweight and rugged, the M41 is constructed largely from ultralight alloy precision metal stampings. The outer casing is made from titanium aluminide alloy, and many internal parts are molded from high-impact temperature-resistant plastics. Layout is conventional, and a spring-loaded retractable stock allows the rifle to be used either in carbine format, with the stock retracted, or as a rifle, with the inline stock extended for greater stability during automatic fire from the shoulder. The M41 fires the standard US M309 10x24mm rounds. This ammunition compromises a 210 gram projectile embedded with a rectangular caseless propellant block of nitramine 50. The propellant content is small but highly effective, generating muzzle velocities on the order of 840 meters per second. The round is steel jacketed and explosive tipped, with impact fusing which is preset during manufacture. Terminal ballistic characteristics have been optimized for maximum lethality against infantry wearing personal armor. The round is designed to penetrate the armor, exploding just after impact to inflict lethal internal damage. The standard M41 ammunition clip will hold up to 99 M309 rounds in a bend conveyor which feeds the rounds mechanically into the rotating breech mechanism. However, in practice, the clips are only filled to 95% capacity in order to reduce the autoloader's tendency to jam. The M41 uses electronic pulse action to fire, controlled directly from the trigger. From the thumb selector, the weapon can be set to selective, four-round bursts, or full automatic fire, the latter allowing a rate of fire up to the weapon's cyclic rate of 900 rounds per minute. An LED display situated just below the receiver indicates the ammo remaining in the clip. Electrical power for the gun's motor mechanism is provided by a lithium battery in the carrying handle. This battery is good for 10,000 rounds and can be recharged either from a rifle rack or a portable power clip. The underslung 30mm grenade launcher comprises a barrel, breech, and a four-round internal magazine which is charged by hand-loading individual grenade cartridges into the mechanism. A pump action is used to load rounds into the breech and cock the firing mechanism. Once loaded, the launcher is primed to fire from a trigger, positioned just in front of the magazine housing which is used as a hand grip when firing a grenade. The most commonly used round in the grenade launcher is the M40 High Explosive Fragmentation Round, which is marked with a red plastic cap. It has a muzzle velocity of 78 miles per second, an effective range of 400 meters, and an accurate range of around 180 meters. The USCM doctrine stresses the need for small, autonomous infantry units capable of operating with or without higher level support on the nonlinear battlefield. Given the fluid nature of battle at the small unit level, the rifle unit must be capable of moving great distances rapidly, using its own organic transport, must carry its own heavy support weapons and sensors, and be able to apply great concentrations of firepower rapidly. The organization of the Colonial Marines Rifle Squad and Platoon reflect the ultimate development of this doctrine. A rifle squad consists commonly of four Marines, including a corporal, a lance corporal, and two privates first class. Each squad divides into two man fire teams, the rifle team and the gun team. The rifle team consists of a pair of riflemen assigned to the buddy system, both equipped with the M41A pulse rifle. The gun team is made up of a rifleman with an M41 and a machine gunner carrying the automatic M56 smart gun, but that may be a topic for another video. 
The Pulse Rifle has continued to be an integral weapon in the stories within the Alien universe and has even appeared as recently as the currently running story arc of Alien's Defiance, which, by the way, also includes Amanda Ripley in that story. With this comic story arc, and with the upcoming Alien Covenant clearly having some kind of military involvement in its plot, do you think it's time the Pulse Rifle makes an on-film comeback? Maybe even just as a brief cameo like it did with Alien 3. Comment below and let me know if you'd like the Pulse Rifle return to film. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, a thumbs up is always appreciated, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button for more. If there's an Alien Universe topic you'd like to see explored further, please comment below and let me know. Follow Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and Alien Theory YT on Facebook for all the latest updates. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.